Madam President, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Namaste and Good Morning. It is an honor to represent the Government of India at this August Forum. On behalf of the Government of India, I warmly greet the International Atomic Energy Agency and its member states. Madam President, please accept our heartiest congratulations on your election to the post of the President of 67th Session of the General Conference of IAEA. I assure you of India's full support and cooperation. Keeping in mind the pivotal role of the IAEA in global nuclear cooperation, I take this opportunity to reiterate India's strong support for the agency in its efforts to promote peaceful uses of atomic energy. We also warmly welcome the newly elected members of the agency. We congratulate Mr. Rafael Mariano Groshi for his re-election as DG of IAEA. We wish him all the best for his new tenure. India fully supports IAEA's efforts to mitigate the global cancer burden through the agency's Rage of Hope program. It is a matter of honor that the Tata Memorial Center and its nine satellite centers is becoming an IAEA collaborating center an anchor center under the Rage of Hope initiative. Continuing the tradition of harmonious engagements, in May this year, the Indian delegation led by Chairman Atomic Energy Regulatory Board participated in the joint 8th, 9th review meeting of contracting parties of Convention on Nuclear Safety. All challenges and suggestions that emanated from the 7th review meeting were closed and no new challenge was identified for India. With great pride, I would like to mention some of the achievements of the Department of Atomic Energy, Government of India, since we met last September 2022. Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited has been setting records in continuous power plant operations and maintaining excellent safety records. One remarkable achievement is the Unit 3 Kakrapara in Gujarat state of India recently commenced commercial operation, the first of its kind 700 megawatt indigenous pressurized heavy water reactor. Baba Atomic Research Center, BARC, has uncovered beneficial applications of radioisotope and radiation in agriculture, medicine, and industry through scientific research. India's low-energy, high-intensity proton accelerator, LEHIFA, at BRC has reached the target energy of 20 MeV, making it the highest-intensity proton accelerator developed in the country. All significant subsystems of LEHIFA have been designed indigenously by DA scientists and engineers. Fission molybdenum 99 plant of the Board of Radiation and Isotope Technology was dedicated to the nation by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, on 11th May 2023. Molybdenum 99 produced at FMP can fulfill the entire country's demand and is also available for export to neighboring countries. Heavy Water Board, the largest global producer of heavy water, has been exporting heavy water to several countries for non-power applications. Heavy Water Board has successfully produced medical-grade water enriched with oxygen-18 being used for medical purposes. Madam President, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research successfully tested the flight of the space exploration capsule of MS Halo Space Spain from the TIFR balloon facility, Hyderabad, on 7th December 2022. Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology, RRCAT, continue to operate synchrotron radiation sources in the Swan and in the Stu as a national facility in round-the-clock mode. Three RRCAT made high beta 650 megahertz cavities have been successfully tested and integrated into the PIP2 project's first prototype cryo module at Fermilla of USA. Madam President, Variable Energy Cyclotron Center has produced a pet radio pharmaceutical copper 64 chloride from solid zinc 68 target using 30 MBB medical cyclotron at VCC Kolkata. Copper 64 chloride is a theranistic radio pharmaceutical used for therapy and also diagnosis of cancer. Nuclear fuel complex has indigenously developed a new state of art 
automated machining center contributing to the Government of India's initiative of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Indian Rare Earth Limited developed a facility for the production of Rare Earth Permanent Magnets, Samarium Cobalt, in the BRC campus Bhaijak, and the same was dedicated to the nation on the 25th anniversary of the National Technology Day on 11th May 2023. Electronic Corporation of India Limited continued to support the facility of antiproton and ion research, fair program, and supplied 382 ultra-stable high-voltage power converters. ECL for the first time indigenously developed the calorimeter, which will serve the requirement of all countries' nuclear reprocessing and waste disposal facilities. The initiative for plasma research demonstrated 1 megawatt RF power at 170 gigahertz at 1,000 seconds at Eater India, Gyroton test facility as part of its collaboration with Eater for development fusion technology. Madam President, a few years ago, India hosted the G20 summit where energy security, access, affordability, and transition are essential considerations. And under India's presidency, the country that opt to use civil nuclear energy reaffirm the role in providing clean energy. These countries will now collaborate in research, innovation, development, and deployment of civil nuclear technologies, including advanced and small modular reactors. We thank the city of Vienna, the people, and the government of Austria for hosting the general conference of IAEA. India remains committed to the peaceful uses of nuclear energy, both on research and application fronts. We wish the 67th General Conference a great success. Thank you very much. I thank the distinguished delegates of India for his statement.